John Morgan here with Bump's Market at Greenhouses. And uh, welcome to this week's episode of Bob's Live, our weekly show right here on the internet. And well, I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually broadcasting right now. Um, so hopefully I am. <laughs> and hopefully you're seeing this. I am trying to figure out this app. Um, so, plan A for broadcasting. Oh, hey. Uh, Patty says, hey, John. So, evidently I'm broadcasting. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, plan A today didn't work out as far as the app that I was planning to use. So, I had to switch to this app. And, well, welcome to this week's frosty episode of Bob's Live. And I'm actually out here in my yard today because, well, I couldn't get to work. And part of the reason is we've got some phone lines and uh, some utility lines that are down here in the front of the house. But I thought this week would be a great time. Oh, I keep cutting out. Okay. Um, the cell phone service because of the snowstorm has been kind of spotty so yeah i might cut in and out <laughs> let me try moving and we'll just head over to what i'm going to talk about uh, let me just head over here Uh, there we go. So, what I was going to talk about this week, and hopefully the signal hangs in there, is ice storms and trees. So, something that you want to watch out for is your fruit trees. And, of course, with an ice storm, there's not a lot you can do. So, we've got probably a good I would say at this point about a half inch of ice build up um, but really there's there's not much you can do because with something like this apple tree if it were a larger tree you might think well I could try bracing the limbs but really there's so much weight on here what it would do is it would just introduce, like, let's say it's my arm and it's covered in ice and you put a brace right here. That's going to create a point where it can snap. So you're actually doing more harm than good if you try to uh, try to brace it. Um, if you're just dealing with snow and it's a light snowfall and you're expecting more snow, with a tree this size or slightly larger, you can go out and gently brush off the snow. But another thing to keep in mind is with a tree like this, that's covered in ice or covered in heavy snow for that matter, what you don't want to do is go out and try to knock the snow off of the limbs. Because what can happen is whenever you knock it and that snow breaks loose, that limb can fly back and it can actually snap the limb. So you can actually do more damage than good in that case. And also at the cellular level, that can damage the, the tissue within the branch that transmits uh, moisture through the branch. Um, the, the phloem, and the xylem layers and you know, all the internal structure of the limbs. So, um, yeah, so the main thing is to, if you have a tree that's covered in ice like this, just kind of let it go and let it ride. Now, of course, you might want to preserve a tree, you know, if, if it's a fruit tree or something like that. But you always want to put safety over the tree. So if it's a tree that's close to your house, 
you might need to go in and cut it down if it looks like it's going to fall on your house or you might need to trim some branches off of it so that that's a whole other issue and you always want to put safety first um, but yeah I am out here in my meadow garden and um, I'm gonna grab the camera and walk around slowly so hopefully it doesn't cut out on us but it is just gorgeous out here today so let me try this there we go let me flip the camera up a little bit we're kind of catching the bottom of the tripod in the camera <laughs> oh well so right there is my little uh, platform that I have out here in the in the meadow and you can see the paths that I have but the grass that I left from this fall it is just gorgeous in this ice And my apple tree here that I was filming, it's looking okay. However, I do have one casualty that I want to show you. And I've got to walk over here to see it. So this is... A cherry tree that I planted um, last spring oh I'm cutting out again um, anyhow this is a cherry tree that I planted last spring and <laughs> unfortunately it looks like it has uh, succumbed to the uh, to the ice storm it's been over here pretty bad um, however, looking at the stalk down here, it hasn't really snapped yet, so it might prove me wrong and kind of bounce back, but right now it kind of looks like this uh, tree is toast. <laughs> And I've noticed that over in my neighbor's yard, they have a pine tree that's not looking too great. <laughs> but the ice out here is amazing. can see some little footprints there been a kitty cat out here in the garden all right all righty so the signals kind of going in and out um hopefully you were able to catch some of what i was saying <laughs> and remember it's cold right now you might be tempted to go out and try to save some trees but really you can do more harm than good unless it's an issue of safety and then you know you have to make that hard choice and sacrifice the tree for the house or other structure that you're trying to save so well i am freezing i didn't wear gloves out here because i needed to touch the touch screen and uh well i'm going to head inside and fix something warm to drink <laughs> and well until next time when hopefully we're back in my office um 
keep growing.